let's learn how to create this beautiful and useful graphic that shows the concept of going up the levels on a pyramid like this. The best part about this graphic is it is totally flexible. You can change the shape of these steps, you can change the nature of animation, you can change the number of levels. It is an extremely useful graphic to learn and implement. Let us learn how to create this beautiful graphic from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. Here I am on a new slide. The first step is to go to Insert, then go to Smart Art, then go to Relationships, then go all the way down and select this one called Stacked When. OK, go here to the text panel, hit enter so you have five of these levels because I'm going to do it with five levels. Select everything, then go to Smart Art Design tab, go to Convert and say Convert to Shapes. Right click, Group, Ungroup, and then you can have everything aligned to the left. And then you have Align Middle, and this is how the whole graphic looks. Then press Ctrl G to group it, right click, Format Shape, Go to Effects option, go to 3D Rotation, from Presets, choose Parallel and choose this one called as Off Axis 1 Top. Then go to 3D Format, choose a depth of 50 points each and then choose the top bevel to be this one called as Cutout. We are going to remove the outline a bit later. But for now, let us right click, Group and say Ungroup. Now let us select everything by pressing Ctrl A. Go to shape outline, say no outline and then select the last one, change the color to say orange, then the next one and change the color to some other color and we are going to keep every level separate in terms of the color distinction. Finally, let us have this and maybe choose this blue color. Now we have got our discs in place. Let us keep the top one up there so it aligns with the left edge of your slide. Pick up the next one and place it right under that. Make sure that you do the minor adjustments using your arrow key. Now that looks beautiful. Then place this over here and then place this over here and then place this over here. Now that looks good. Let us go to the last one and add some shadow. So select this large circle. Then go to shape effects, go to shadow, then go to presets. Choose Outer and Offset Center and increase the size of the shadow like so, so the shadow is clearly visible. Now we have got our steps in place. The next step is to have a ball that climbs up the ladder. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the oval tool, hold the shift button down and draw a circle. Go to Shape Format and ensure that say it is 2 cm so it is much easier for us to do the calculation. And as I taught before in one of my earlier videos, if you want to convert this into a 3D shape and your measure is in centimeters, then for each centimeter you need to add a bevel of 14.2 multiple. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let us select the circle, go to Effects option, then go to 3D Format and go to Top Bevel. Choose the first one called as Round. You can even choose the bottom one and have it as round. Then 2 into 14.2 which is 28.4. So let us go to width and say 28.4 and height is 28.4. You pretty much have this sphere ready. Just for good order's sake we are going to have the bottom bevel as well in the same dimensions. Now we have got the ball that can travel across the various levels. Go to shape fill, give it a bright red color, go to shape outline, say no outline and place this somewhere over here. Now the first animation. Let us go to animations, go to animation pane so you can see what I'm going to do. The first animation I'm going to use is under motion paths and it's called as turns. Then go to effect options and say upright. So this is the direction in which it goes. Now we are going to change the end destination like this so it comes to this side. And then let us reduce the height and you can also adjust the distance like this. So it goes from here to here and we are going to have this for one second. So let us go here and then we will also add a bounce end like so. So it goes like that. So that is our first step 
and right after that we are going to have our text now to save some time i've already written the text so this is the text and let us have this wipe from left and this happens after previous so when i go to slideshow this is how it goes to the first level and we have our explanation now we need to add the next animation so let us select this sphere again go to add animation we are not going to choose any of these because that would replace the earlier animation so let us go to add animation then go to motion paths and choose the same turns and then go to effect options and say upright and that is the direction now we are going to change the start point so you can see that this is the start point we are going to have that move to this one it will automatically snap quite nicely with the end point then you move this so it reaches the exact level make sure that the distance is to your liking now this will go from here to here and of course we will need to make the changes to the duration and the bounce and everything we will do that all in one go now let us finish doing the animation for the ball one after another so we can reach the final level and then go from here all the way till here to the center now that looks beautiful let us change all of these to one second and then go to effect options and increase the bounce end like so now that is how the animation happens now we need to add our various levels so let us select this press ctrl d to create a duplicate and then place it right next to the previous one change this to level 2 The final thing I'm going to do is to add some sort of shadow underneath. For that I'm going to use a simple rectangle box and I'm going to draw the rectangle in such a way that it covers the bottom edge. Go to shape outline, say no outline and choose a light grey color like so. Right click and send this to back. Now this whole thing looks grounded. Now we need to make some adjustments in terms of placing the text right next to the relevant animation so we have got our first combination anyway right so we have got the second text coming right after the second level the third text after the third level fourth text after fourth level and the fifth one after fifth level excellent now let us see when i go to slideshow on a click i go to the first level then go to the second level of course we need to make some adjustments to this and then go to the third level go to the fourth level and the final level now if i just make some minor adjustments to this now the diagram is done now let me show you a creative variation to represent three different levels on a click we have a hand that draws the step one and the explanation and step two and then we have step three shown this is a very simple way to talk about three steps and the explanation the next one is this where we show steps in a different way. On a click we show step 1 like this, step 2 like this and step 3 like this. And the final example is 3 steps leading to the objective. On a click we talk about the first step, the second step and the final step. Our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle is a collection of more than 4,500 premium PowerPoint templates. The link to this product is in the description box below the video. If you liked this tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial that we have put together called Magnifying Lens Zoom Effect in PowerPoint. It has a very interesting effect like this. Can you see there is a zoom lens, a magnifying lens that comes and then it goes away. The entire path, as you can see, is magnified. And that is what is the specialty of this particular effect. So go ahead, click on the link that I'm showing you right now on your screen and go watch that video and learn a very powerful technique that is definitely going to impress your audience. I'll see you inside that video next.